around Brooklyn half. What does your equation say? I mean, what does the problem say? I know. Sum. Okay, so do I know what that sum is? Yes. So how can I represent that in my equation? What can I put there for Brooklyn? What'd you say, um, Autumn? Why, why can I put an X there? Yeah, because I don't know how much Brooklyn has yet. But I know that she has something. So I want to put something there to represent Brooklyn. And Autumn said that I can put an X for Brooklyn. So now that you know that bit of information, see if you can set up the problem for me. <coughs> So the X is Brooklyn. Okay. What? And what operation? She's she's right. And what operation? Very good. Now, <coughs> this tells me that Brooklyn has something because it didn't say she had zero. I know that she has some. I just don't know how many she has yet, okay? And I, but I do know that Chad has one, and I know that it tells me that the sum of their oranges is four. So I know that all together, they have four. All right, so if Chad has one, and you guys, thank you, Aunt Kayla. This is the way you guys are used to seeing it written. I told you, they, this is something you guys have already done before, but now we're just using variable, okay, to represent certain things. <coughs> instead of a box, like a or instead of a blank, or a triangle. Okay, but those are all different ways that you've seen, or a question mark. You've seen it as a question mark. Yeah. Okay, so instead of using these different things, we can use X. Okay, to represent Brooklyn. So, how do I solve this equation? Uh, Justin? Does Brooklyn have? Three. Three. Thank you, Chad. 